light is emitted in all directions around its source. In order to measure the amount of light in a region of space around its source, we have to consider the angle of spread of light in that space. That spread is called a solid angle. Here's a representation of one unit of a solid angle. This is the spread of light that passes that one unit of the solid angle. Let's understand solid angles in more detail. To understand solid angles, let's start with two dimensional concepts which we're more familiar with. So here's a circle with a radius of 13.5 centimeters. So the radius is 13.5 centimeters. And we traverse it around the center so that this arc length, this arc length is also 13.5 centimeters. This angle right over here, this angle here, is known as one radian. So again, one radian is the angle spread so that the arc length is equal to the radius. So now let's see this concept in three-dimensional space. Here is the model of a solid angle. Just like the unit for two-dimensional spread is radians, the unit for spread in three-dimensional space is called a steradian. So how much spread is in one steradian? Let's find out. The distance from the vortex of the cone to the base has a length of 24 centimeters. So the length of this cone from the vertex to the base is 24 centimeters. If we square this length, it results in 576 square centimeters. In order for this solid angle to be one steradian, the base of the cone must have an area of 576 square centimeters, which is the square of this length. So the base of this cone, the base of this cone, must have an area of the length from the vertex to the base which is 24 centimeters squared. So the area of this base is 24 squared or 576 square centimeters. And you can see that the base fits uh, from the top section of the cone. So we can now say that this spread in 3D space is one steradian. That is one steradian. So remember when we were doing the 2D measurements and the radius of the circle was approximately 13.5 centimeters? Well, applying the formula to calculate the area of the circle, the area is pi times r squared. With a little bit of approximation, the area is roughly 576 square centimeters. So that was a brief explanation of solid angles and steradians. Here's something interesting. We notice that lampshades are also designed to cover approximately one steradian solid angle. Measuring the length of the lampshade from the vertex to its base, as well as by finding the area of the base, the lampshade seems to be a representation of one steradian. We tried to confirm that a steradian is used in lampshade designs, but couldn't find anything. If you happen to know something about this, please drop a comment. We also found out that steradians have many other real life examples. Steradians are also used in antenna engineering for properties such as the directivity of an antenna. The steradians also have useful application in photography, specifically for calculating luminance from a light source and calculating the necessary light exposure to properly light up a scene. And finally, they're used in electromagnetics to represent scaling of a sphere. So that was our video explaining solid angles and steradians. Here's a little montage of us building the Stradian representation. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.